we are going to be trapping rats in today's video they're literally nothing they're literally like mummy rats right here Look. this all looks like there was a rat's nest right up in here and when the rat comes to get the food and then they go to step and get the food they're gonna hit the white what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day as usual the lemurs are sounding off they're going crazy they are running amok but that is not what today's video is about if you guys saw the title and thumbnail well you will know we are going to be trapping rats in today's video the rats here at my preserve are back it is a battle we have been dealing with for several months now there's tons of rats here because whenever you own animals there's tons of rats and the problem with these rats are is the rats carry and spread diseases they carry worms they carry bacteria they are just not good to have around because I have rare and endangered animals here so the rats can pass parasites to my lemurs to my lizards to my leopard to my servals they are just not good at all and especially my sloths so for today's video we are going to be going around we're gonna be looking for evidence of these rats we're gonna be setting traps and hopefully trapping them well guys we are at our first spot that we're gonna be checking out today and that is by my macaws the macaws have had lots of rats the past couple of nights I come out oh, oh, oh yes I'm coming I'm coming the macaws are screaming because they are telling me to get the traps ready that they don't want any more rats coming to their enclosure anyone that has birds has rats in the past couple of nights when I've been doing my nighttime rounds here at the preserve I have seen a rat I have seen a culprit the culprit every time I see him he jumps down from the macaw cage and he runs into the bushes he runs underneath the shed and this is not good and what the rats are doing they're doing exactly what Zeus is doing they're eating all of the fallen leftover food now I try as much as I can to spray all that stuff out yes there's a lot of poop under there but that's only two days worth of poop and the great thing about this design is the poop falls down. So the poop is not actually in the bird's enclosure. So we have got to set a trap here because the last time we did a trapping video, we trapped a rat. And if you guys watch my sister's channel, she found a rat nest in here. The rat nest is still in here. If you guys have seen it, great. If you guys haven't, I'm gonna show you. This is an old drill press. This nest right here is an old abandoned rat's nest. They made a nest in here. They had babies and well, the babies are gone, but the rats, they're still here. And I actually have a trap set right over here. Let's take a look at it right here. So this trap, I just set it actually just about an hour ago. So this is my, basically my traps of choice. I've tried all different traps, but these are the most effective. They're the most aggressive and you can see we've got it baited right there and we put the bait in there which is actually parrot food what they'd be going after and we're going to take this trap and i'm actually going to put it by the parrots now just so the dogs don't get into it we're actually going to slide it under this mat right over here we're going to take it come here guys look at this this is where i want to put this trap the rat sometimes hides in here so we're going to put this trap just right here just like that and we're going to cover it up so my dogs can't get to it but if the rats come well guys we're going to trap them so now that we set trap number one we are going to head to my sloths where there's lots of rats one minute 37 seconds later well we're in with the sloths now and the sloths are active it's about to be the night time they're ready to get fed we've got suki bean and sid and of course i brought some treats for them hey guys come here come here come here we gotta feed you before we get rid of the rats okay we got one carrot. Okay, there you go. We got one. Sid, have a carrot. Thank you. There you go. Have a carrot. Beansy, my boy. Mm. My favorite boy. Have a carrot, son. Take a carrot. So these are my three two-toed sloths. Bean, Suki, and Sid. I absolutely love them. But the menaces these rats have been invading. They run on the roof at night and they come and steal their food. And I thought we had totally got rid of our rats. I thought the problem was under control. But all of a sudden, as you guys can see down here, the rat poop started appearing again. So this means the rats are back. They must have had more babies. And these rats reproduce at an exponential rate, meaning that there could be hundreds or thousands of them here invading my zoo. If you guys look, there's just a ton of rat poop. And I suspect that this is not from just one rat, but several rats coming in here at night. So I totally stopped feeding them at night because of the rats, but the rats have not stopped coming. So we've got the rat poop in here. And guys, we're gonna head on the outside of their enclosure and set some traps. So we're on the outside of the sloth enclosure now and we're gonna get ready to set the trap. Now the reason why I don't put the trap inside of there, 
Well, it's because the slots could get down to it. They could hurt themselves. And I actually have to put it in the rain gutter so my dogs don't come and accidentally get their mouth caught in here. That would be a disaster. That would be bad. So we don't want that to happen at all. But for those of you that don't know how these traps work, well, I'm going to show you right now. So right here, we've got the bait hole. Now, before you even load the trap, you're gonna load your bait in there. Once the bait is loaded, you're gonna press down like this and the trap is loaded. It's ready to go. It's got those big, large, aggressive teeth meant for chomping down on big rats. So basically what you do is once it's baited, you leave it sitting. The rat comes and the rat smells the food. The rat wanders over here and we're gonna pretend this leaf is a rat. The rat comes over here and when the rat comes to get the food, he puts pressure on the white. So I had to get another stick because that other one wasn't gonna work. So basically the rats, they're gonna smell the food. They're gonna come right here and basically what they're gonna do is they're going to smell the food and they're gonna come over here and when they go to step and get the food, they're gonna hit the white. The trap is going to snap shut, destroying the rat. We've got this trap here. Now I've got some bait right here. Let's see what we got. We got a little bit of a leaf eater biscuit, which is what we feed the sloths, what the rats have been feasting on. So we wanna press it down in there so they actually have to sit there and eat at it. So we're gonna take this trap right now and we're gonna go right over here. We're gonna put it in. And as you guys can see, I've tried multiple traps. I've tried this trap, I've tried that trap, and look at all of the rat poop that is in the gutter. This is absolutely terrible. Oh my gosh, I haven't been back here, but come look at this. Look at all the poop right in here. There's rat poop there, 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 and there. I mean, this area is literally a rat sanctuary. We're gonna try to stop it. We're gonna try to get rid of the rats, and the only way to do that is by setting the trap. Bean, oh no, that's Suki. Hey, Suki. You want me to get rid of the rats? You want me to get rid of them? All right, we're trying, okay? All right. So we're gonna take this trap right here and we're gonna place it right here because the rats come down here, they jump here, and then they jump onto the wire. So hopefully by setting this trap, we'll catch the rats. Well, both traps are set. We've got one trap by the sloths, one by the parrots, and I am hoping that we're gonna wake up in the morning to two rats because that is exactly what we want. Now, ideally, I'd set some more traps, um, but all the other traps that I have are literally broken because we've trapped so many rats. But I will see all of you guys in the morning. But before I go, guys, I want you to let me know right down below. Do you think we're gonna catch a rat? If so, are we gonna catch one or are we going to catch two? Guys, let me know down below and I'll see you in the morning. The next day. It's the morning, it's literally 6.55 a.m. And we are get out here, we're ready to check the traps. We started with the birds, so we're gonna check the birds first. Let's check it out, so we're gonna come over here. Let's take a look and let's come and all right guys the moment of truth we're gonna lift it up right now in three two one <laughs> baby we got one we got what we're looking for guys we trapped a rat we got our culprit we got one massive rat right here and this is exactly what we wanted. We wanted to trap the rats because they're causing havoc. I love all animals, but these rats right here, they spread parasites, they spread diseases, and well, I have incredibly rare and endangered animals, and the last thing I want is them to get sick from a rat. So we've got one rat. I guess we're gonna bury him. We're gonna undo the trap right here. We've got the one rat right here, and I, I just noticed here there's a tail. There's a tail right here. Come look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this. There is literally zombie rats right here. It looks like they died somehow, but look, they're literally nothing. They're literally like mummy rats right here. Look at it, a tiny little mouse. This looks like it could be brother and sister right here. This is actually pretty crazy. His teeth are intact. Oh my God, Lance, this is insane. This what do you think of this? It's actually pretty disgusting, honestly. Yeah, it's but, nasty. But they're like completely dried out little mummies. This is just so crazy to find absolutely insane it looks like this might have been actually the remnants of a rat's nest right here this all looks like there was a rat's nest right up in here i mean there still could be some rats in here guys comment down below if we should go underneath the shed should we go looking but uh maybe, maybe in another video we're not I'm, not I'm not crawling under there today no thank you it's too early in the morning for that stuff so we've got the mummy rats i guess i guess we're just gonna leave those guys there and we got one rat now guys we're gonna go check trap number two well, we've had a successful mission so far. Trap number one had one rat. Now it is time to check the trap here. Now I'm hoping, I'm praying that we have a rat. But again, there's only one way to find out. We're gonna check it out. But guys, do we have a rat here? Let me know down below. What do you guys think? Let's go take a look here. We're gonna come look and we're going, we're sliding. Yes! 
look at this this trap got a rat right here and this one is not near as bloated as the other rat this one's actually soft let's look at this little guy okay we trapped another rat we got him we got what we came for and look there's still some bait in there so we're just actually going to leave that right there we're going to leave that trap right there we've got this rat and well guys that is going to end today's episode hopefully you guys did enjoy watching today's video where we trap the rats guys we have a serious infestation at my zoo so if you guys are not subscribed yet you want to see us trap more rats you want to see tigers lions turtles and tortoises and all kinds of crazy animals so guys go right now hit the subscribe button tap that little notification bell and you all will be notified whenever i post